And moving over to London, where Uber has promised to make things right in London after its new global boss had a constructive meeting with city's transport regulator to try to hold on to apps operating license in one of its main foreign markets. Transport for London, or TFL, which runs and regulates British Capital's transport system, shocked Uber last month by deeming it unfit to run a taxi service and refusing to renew its license. It cited the firm's approach to reporting serious criminal offences and background checks on drivers. Both TFL and Uber described Tuesday's meeting between Silicon Valley's firm's new CEO and TFL Commissioner Mike Brown as constructive, with the dialogue set to continue. Uber's license expired on September 30, oh, but it roughly its 40,000 drivers are still able to take passengers until an appeals process is exhausted, which could take several months. Uber's British management has been criticized by London Mayor Sadiq Khan, who is also chairman of TFL. Khan said the firm needed to spend less time hiring an army of PR experts and an army of lawyers and instead address issues raised by TFL. Khan, a centre-left politician from Britain's opposition party, has approved Tuesday's meeting between Dara Khosrow Shahi, who is Uber CEO, and Brown, who is in charge of TFL's day-to-day -day operations.